Whatever, Deku. No matter what power you end up with, you'll never be able to beat me. Whoops. <laughs> Just a little da, 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 da. <laughs> so the aftermath of that giant battle and Bakugo's somewhat humiliating defeat. Yeah, I feel like this is major social points. And the winners are both on the ground. True. The old saying go, they may have lost the battle, but they won the war. This class is intense. Yeah, that was what, day two? Four more years, only four more years. <laughs> Are they all gonna make it, I wonder? My attacks. Deku Power isn't everything. Them. He made me look like an idiot. You did a, a pretty good job of that yourself. That's why I wanna beat you! Because you're amazing! Yeah, it sure doesn't feel that way right now though, does it? If we didn't hold back at all, Deku would beat me with his quirk. Young Baku, <laughs> who yet? Yeah, yeah. This is good. Or lose, you can always take something away from an experience like this. As long as you're open to learning. Episode 8, Bakugo's start line. Yeah, I was actually thinking about this before the episode started. All Might, or as I've heard him refer to in comments as Dad Might, is obviously great for Deku. Bakugo needs him as well. These past few episodes have been very Bakugo-centric, and I talked a lot about him in the last episode. I think one of the antidotes to that kind of problem where you're adored by everyone is having someone you can look up to who actually earns your respect, like who actually is above you in ways that you value, and provides you that structure and gives you like a clear path of how you can actually become great rather than just being treated like you're great by default. Right now he's just so chaotic, like he's just this explosive ball of talent and power. If he could actually pin that to something structured, he would be great. It's possible that he won't want that relationship at first just because that forces him to have humility, which is something he's not great at. But I feel like because All Might actually is so powerful, so strong, and so good, that will be a positive force over time. Well, despite the results, the MVP of this exercise is young Ida. <laughs> Really? Oh, that's weird. Shouldn't it be one of the heroes instead since they're the winners? Hmm, valid question. Why didn't I choose one of those two? Yes, why? Ida embraced this challenge. He was the only one mm. who truly adapted to mm. his assigned role. That is true. He was really into it. Midoriya's plan was also poorly thought out. Wow. The amount of damage that he received. So it wasn't 10 points for Gryffindor, like I thought it would be. Her final attack was far too reckless given the hypothetical stakes. Right, she launched rocks at an atomic bomb. Ida was fully prepared for his opponent's arrival. <laughs> he had a this is the best day of Ida's life. Mission to protect the dummy weapon. He's honored his family. In the end. Don't cry. Don't cry. Technically, the hero team won, yes. But they took advantage of the fact that this was training. They didn't respect the spirit of the trial. Mm. I really appreciate the fact that there was no favoritism there. That was cool. And I love how, how transparently happy Ida was about that. Also, it seems like this moment is a vehicle to get to know this... I almost called her a cadet. <laughs> the student. They're kind of like cadets though, right? Except that instead of Sasageoing Erwin, they're Sasageoing <laughs> All Might. This girl really has a good eye on her. Yeah. Yes? Well, you overlooked a few things. <laughs> Trying to save face a little bit. Momo Yayorozu. Oh my god. <laughs> no. <laughs> Momo Yayorozu. Did I get it? Oh, she's a recommendation. Think about everything we saw and discussed as you tackle this training for yourself. He's traumatized. This could be good though. This could be good. I'm gonna take off all my clothes and totally disappear. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't really mean anything if she's invisible. Uh, just don't look, okay? What's I mean, <laughs> yeah. I get it though. I get it. Mezo Shoji, quirk, dupla arms. He can replicate different body parts on the tips of his tentacles. Now that's super strange. Yeah, I don't like it. But we've already won. Oh, oh no, she must be cold. She must be very cold. This guy's kind of, kind of cool, kind of terrifying. Hard to fight me with no skin on the bottom of your feet. Neither of them have shoes. Man, I guess matchups are going to be everything in this, this show. Whoa, he's so strong. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Although that was just a bad matchup. Like he just happened to get the shoeless team. Oh, we can defrost. We're just playing on different levels. <laughs> Shoto Todoroki. Half cold, half hot. Interesting. Another recommendation. He gets. That's that's that. Whoa! That is. This world is not fair. 
that day I learned that people were not born equal. That's two quirks. I guess that's part of the fun of this system. They left themselves a lot of room for creativity. But one thing that's been pointed out to me that has been true so far is that it seems like most of the heroes have something that also creates a weakness. I guess to keep things somewhat fair, but yeah, Matchups, I guess. Matchups are big. There's a rock, scissor, paper element to it, kind of. No matter how powerful a certain villain is, the exact perfect hero will be able to neutralize that, and vice versa. Very creative so far. Oh, holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> That's he got in on a recommendation, so he must be good. Moving on! Time to gather around for a review of the Oof. second match. After that, we'll jet on over to our next battle. Bakugo, man. I feel for him. Because now he has to watch all these matches. He has the maximum amount of time to reflect on his failure and just dive, deep dive into his pain. I don't know though. I feel like that failure is so important. You gotta eat that sometimes. He has toilet paper too. Hey, Birdman! I got high hopes for him. What is his power besides being bird-like? <laughs> oh, what? I know they got a lot to do, and so, you know, a montage makes sense, but I feel like <laughs> I, I could like watch this. I could watch this stretched out. It's fun. Talented class. I think All Might's good at seeing their potential. You really stepped up to the plate, and we didn't have any major injuries except for Midoriya. You should be proud. Excellent first day of training all around. It's nice to hear some encouraging words after our homeroom class. Now watch how a pro exits! Like he's got some money! Yeah, All Might makes the most mundane things seem cool. Like leaving. Young Bakugo really is overflowing with pride. Mm. His ego may be justified, but a school like UA is bound to shatter it. But it'll have to wait. Right, I totally forgot about his weakness. He can't teach that long. And his colleagues probably don't know either. I barely have time to teach a class. Yeah, yeah. Shit. <laughs> There's something very subtle but special about that scene, you know? The fact that All Might is kind of on the ropes, right? Like, he's not in a good position. He's not in a good state. That being said, he's still so observant and so attentive to the, the most subtle things about his students. I actually think that's a big part of something that can make people really charismatic. I think for a lot of people, there's this shift that happens over time that makes it easier to deal with social situations or deal with other people or value other people, which is a shift from like heavily focusing on oneself or thinking about how one appears in a situation to going outside of yourself and like observing your surroundings and observing others. Like for me, when I was young, I was very my own head like every interaction was a chance for me to reflect on how I was in that moment what other people thought of me the things I had said right or said wrong but I feel like the more time passes the more I can sort of trust that I am who I am and just trust that the good stuff will come out and that makes it so much more fun because I have all this energy now to like look at other people like when I talk to other people I'm just sort of like figuring out what they're about seeing their good traits or maybe not so good traits or whatever but one of the big realizations that transformed that for me was the realization that actually almost everyone is looking at themselves so you have like a bunch of people thinking about ways they're going wrong and so they don't have the emotional energy to look at the ways you're going wrong. If everyone's focused on themselves, no one's really being that critical of you, which sort of releases that pressure a little bit. And often I feel like people who are really capable and charismatic, they're the ones who are sort of like seeing it all. You know, they're kind of like above it and just watching everyone do their do their thing. He's doing so many things at once. He's proctoring this exam, I guess. He's, he's really getting to the heart of who the students are. He's paying attention to Bakugo who went first, but he's still thinking about it. And he's doing all this as he's worried about his own physical state. You know, it's pretty amazing. And on a totally separate note, because some students commented on this, I actually think the balance of their homeroom teacher with All Might is perfect. Like, they complement each other really well, and I think, in fact, they're being framed that way as having these opposite but complementary approaches. So they're lucky. They're lucky to have both. The second day of school, and he's already a regular patient. Help us, Pinaco. <laughs> You're right, recovery girl. Oh, she knows. I'm sorry. I did some first aid, but after the IV is finished, we'll have to wait for his body to heal overnight. And this is not sustainable. You can't do this every day. I know you passed your powers on to this boy, but you can't spoil him. I am trying not to play favorites. I think he's doing all right so far. Mr. Natural Born Hero, Mr. Symbol of Peace. Yeah, she sees right through it. Only a select few people know the secret of one for all. There's you, the principal, and a very close friend of mine. The principal? What is that? Is that a badger? Do you have to be the symbol of peace? Is it that important? If they knew I wasn't, the temptation of this power could corrupt our society. Hmm, you could definitely imagine it falling into the wrong hands. Young man. You too can become a hero. Listen well, young man. This is your choice. One for all. 
There's something really sweet about him confiding in Pinako. I mean, the nurse like that. He really is a strong person. He's not faking it. And maybe that goes too far. You know, maybe he shouldn't have to be responsible for all that. Maybe he shouldn't have to be responsible for peace. He's probably doing enough. And I think actually that might even be reflected in the idea of one for all. I think the goal is not for one person to be all might, but for everyone to be all might, if that makes sense. There's a lot to this idea. One element of one for all is that you do your best. You work to become as good or as strong as you can be. And then you pass that on. And maybe there's a metaphor in there of like your actions affecting other people's actions or inspiring others. And then the next person takes what you've built and improves on it. Not only do I feel like that's a good notion, I feel like it's a practical and pragmatic notion. I mean, I feel like that works if, if people adopt that viewpoint. And I think it's also a way to actually derive meaning and pleasure even from life. If you accept that as your role, you know, taking responsibility for yourself and being the best person that you can be, as cliche as that sounds, you now have like a, a purpose, a higher purpose that has tangible effects on others and is almost undeniably good. So it's a beautiful message, but I think another part of it that maybe All Might is missing is that it doesn't work if it's just one person. All you can control is one person, all you can control is yourself, and it definitely starts there, and that, I guess, is the primary focus and all that really matters ultimately, but the idea that I'm going to be that person for the whole world alone is wrong. The idea is that I do this, and, you know, on some level, I'm unattached to the results of that. Like, I can't control other people, I can't tell other people what's right or what to do, but the hope is that by being that beacon, that trickles out into other people and you don't have to do it alone. And so part of me feels like that's maybe a negative aspect of All Might or something where he's not quite getting it. And maybe that's represented by his weakness, by his physical weakness. It's it's taking a toll on him. He's not strong enough to do this whole thing by himself. Just another day in UA. It's late afternoon. Rise and shine, Sonny. <laughs> Time for homework, I guess? Do they get homework? I hope not. What would their homework even be? I missed all my afternoon classes. Mr. Aizawa's probably gonna choke me with his scarf. <laughs> he might. He might. Good to see you back, Super! <laughs> but yeah, Man, social I points. I don't know what you were saying during that match, but you were all fired up, huh? Major social points. Hey, I'm Ezra Kirishima. We've been going over training results while you were in recovery. Hi! I'm Hanta Sarah. More importantly, I'm you. I'm Mina Ashido, and I just gotta say, your touching was awesome! Sue, you awesome, but please call me Sue. Hey, Sato! I already forgot all of your names. Tokoyami! <laughs> the way this guy Tokoyami walks constantly. <laughs> I cannot condone actions that disrespect these desks. Not when great men and women or upperclassmen once used them. Want to grab a bite sometime? Kind of stuff uh -oh. you like. Someone else has noticed that Uraraka is nice. Where's Kachan? Brooding somewhere. We tried to stop him from leaving, but he wouldn't listen. You just missed him. I feel like it's not the best idea to go after him. You know, let him have his space. Let him deal with this. He's probably doing some good work right now. Or he's, he's making it worse for himself by brooding on it. One or the other. But this is volatile. Wait up! We good? <laughs> I don't really have any control over this power yet. I've still got a lot to learn. That's why I'm here. <laughs> um, I don't know if this is going well. I'll work until I have full control of this borrowed quirk. And I'll finally beat you with my own power. Oh, I didn't expect that. Neither did he. Oh crap, what am I saying? <laughs> got a little carried away there. That's okay. When I was watching that ice guy, I realized I couldn't beat him in a head-to-head -head fight. Mmm. I'm just getting started! Got that? I'm gonna end up the number one hero no matter what! Um... <laughs> outcome unclear. Was this good? Was this a good thing? Maybe partly? Partly good? But yeah, that's a good point. Like, last episode, I said something about how people like Bakugo, they enjoy being the big fish in the small pond and they'll actively create their environment or choose small fish, let's say, so that they can perpetuate that feeling. But UA does not allow that. UA is the top. Lots of giant fish in this school, so you gotta cope with that. But that's great. I prefer that. I would rather be among people who are amazing, you know? It just requires dispensing with that notion that you're the best, you know? Which, if you're not the best, it's good to know you're not the best, because then you have a higher goal to reach. You'll grow faster if you have a higher plateau that you're looking at. And that, I think, is maybe the positive out of all this for him. He has higher to aim now. He was kind of complacent this whole time. Again, you bastard. Don't even try. Now he's more awake, I guess. Baku, go! I found you! All Might didn't let it go. He's been thinking about it. There's still plenty you have to learn. Let go of me, All Might. <laughs> How right dare now. you? Hmm? I'll be more famous than you, and I'll do it without your help. Now this is just foolish. I guess he's already over it. That was, the, no, what? <laughs> That's the wrong takeaway from that. He's not over it at all. Teacher is hard. It is hard. The fated battle between rivals. 
Whatever Midoriya was saying, it looked like Bakugo really wanted to punch him. Childhood friends turned enemies. This girl has a good eye for her narrative. I'll keep chasing after him. Why don't you tell me all the juicy details? Um, actually, I kind of forgot. Even superheroes like gossip, I guess. Say <laughs> I think the best thing that Deku can do for Bakugo is just to focus on himself and becoming better. He doesn't need to chase after him, although maybe that was just poor phrasing. I think the openness he has is good. The lack of animosity he has is, is good. So just creating that open space and then becoming better and All Might doing the same, you know, All Might just being like an inspiring figure, an inspiring teacher, and the other teachers doing the same. Bakugo will just sort of be forced into that. His aggressive, teenage, moody energy will just have to sort of like come to the other side somewhat. He'll be more balanced out. You can't really force it. You can't change someone willingly. You just try to create a good space, like the healthiest space that you can, and you hope that that creates sort of a backbone that other people can adopt or lean into, some stability for them. Because Bakugo is all chaos, and assuming he doesn't go all the way into hatred and bitterness, Bakugo will be, he'll be good. He'll be good, I think. You know, just thinking about humanity, people, <laughs> he'll be fine. He's a moody teen. It takes a long time to reverse those things that you've built from childhood. I've said previously that I identify a lot with Bakugo. It took me a really, really long time to sort of let go of some of that stuff. Like the self-image I had of myself of, of being the best or amazing by default. There's no way I was capable of fully looking at that at, what are they, 14, 13? And if I have to guess, I think a big part of turning that around for myself was finding great people, like having an instinct to find people who were better, more capable, more stable than I was, and then sort of acclimating to their their healthiness. In a way, great people shine a light on, on your own darkness, you know? And UA seems like the right place for that. I was a little bit wary of this episode going into it. I was afraid that it would be a little bit too much of Bakugo moping. I thought it would be the aftermath of the battle exclusively. And there definitely was that element of it, but I think they did it in a really balanced way that still made it fun. It didn't drag. Like, yeah, Bakugo's going through his thing. This was also a chance to to explore All Might a little bit. And also we got these cool battles between the students, even though I, I kind of would have liked to have seen a little bit more. I mean, I don't know how they would really do that without making that like 500 episodes, but keeping it light was probably a good choice. Ultimately, it leaves you wanting more. And I'm sure we'll get more of these kids and these powers. I'm sure we'll get a lot of it, but it was a lot of fun. Good balance of action, character development, world building. The pacing has been great so far on this show, starting from episode one onwards. It's been a lot of fun. I almost forgot there was an ending scene to this episode. None of us were prepared for what was to come. All Might warned us about cunning villains. Ooh, I've been wondering. There's going to be a, a big bad probably, right? Or multiple. It says he's a teacher now. Sounds like the Joker. What do you think will happen when the what is this kind of villains bar? Of peace is finally killed by the villains. <laughs> what? He looks like uh, Ray, Evangelion Ray, with a lot of hands. Nice. I figured this would happen relatively soon. Right now, in a sense, we're in the prologue, right? But there's bad things coming for sure.